don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to stop it right here. <laughs> it's that time of the year. The end of the year. In this video, I'm going to talk about my, my personal opinion of the top 10 movies of 2018. 2018, for the most part, has been a very disappointing year compared to 2017. So there was there's just there wasn't that much to go over. But I'm gonna start it off with some honorable mentions. These are movies that could have been in the list but just weren't in the list. So my honorable mentions are Paddington 2, Venom, Aquaman, Game Night, and Hereditary. Other than that, let's get into the top ten. Coming in at number 10 is Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs is a Wes Anderson film. This is his second film with his animation style. This movie was beautiful to look at. I love the characters in it. It's a very good movie, but it is as good as Fantastic Mr. Fox. Coming in at number 9 is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Ralph Breaks the Internet is the sequel to wreck it ralph but in this one it's not based around video game characters it's based around the wonderful world wide web this movie was just amazing to look at it was very adorable and it was a very entertaining movie coming in at number eight i'm putting creed 2 creed 2 is the sequel to creed which is a spin-off to the rocky franchise creed um well, it's based around Apollo Creed's son, and Creed 2 isn't at, it doesn't work as well as the first Creed, but Creed 2 had some very strong performances, and I enjoyed Creed 2. It was, it was a good movie. Coming in at number 7, I have 8th Grade. 8th Grade was written and directed by Bo Burnham himself. Bo Burnham is my favorite comedian of all time. 8th Grade was a beautiful, awkward, real film. Uh, needless to say, I sort of couldn't watch the first... The first time I watched it, it took me a while to watch it. It's not because it was bad. It was because it was too brutally lifelike, and I could relate with it. Eighth Grade was a beautiful film, and I'm just going to say it now. If Bo Burnham or Elise Fisher do not win an Oscar for this movie somehow, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Coming in at number six is Infinity War. Infinity War is the third Avengers film. This movie, oh my gosh. This movie was like the meme for the longest time. But this movie is, is really good. Thanos, I'm just going to say it. Strongest MCU villain out there. Like they go in deep to his character and it it's great it really works infinity war is my sixth favorite movie of the year now we're getting to my top five coming in at number five is a quiet place a quiet place was written and directed by john krasinski aka jim from the office a quiet place was brilliant it was so original i, I loved it I mean, John Krasinski, you're doing something like, I think there's a trend now. We should just give comedians the right to direct a horror film, because last year we had Get Out, and that movie was incredible. Uh, coming in at number four is Bumblebee, a Transformers movie that's actually good? Get out of here. Bumblebee was, <laughs> it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed Bumblebee. Uh, the soundtrack's great. Haley Steinfeld's great as usual. She's, she's an incredible actress. Um, Bumblebee, it's a very adorable movie. The only fallback is John Cena. John Cena's just, 
he's playing a tough guy and he's trying too hard. But that adds to the movie. Kind of adds like a cheesy movie vibe to it. And it works for the most part. Bumblebee comes in at number four. Coming in at number three. Now, my top three, really, these movies could all be number one. So don't think of it as three, two, one. Think of it as one, one, one. But for the sake of having ten through one on here, but coming in at number three is Mission Impossible Fallout. This is the best one in the franchise yet. Mission Impossible Fallout was incredible. Now, you might be thinking... A series like this has been going on forever. What can they really do to keep it going? I don't know, but they did it. This movie's great. Tom Cruise is doing some stunts as usual. Some of them look really impossible, but he does it. Um, Henry Cavill plays a very good villain in this. I really liked it. This, this movie was fun to watch, and it's probably the best action movie of the year. Coming in at number two, this might surprise some people because I made a video on this, but Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, best Spider-Man movie, but I don't know, just didn't make number one, but Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is just, it's a great movie to look at, the, the, the character of Miles Morales is just great, the character of Peter Parker is just really good, this movie was a very incredible movie to look at and it comes in at number two now the number one movie of the year this is the movie i walked out of the theaters and was just like there should be more movies like this coming in at number one is first man first man is a movie about the first man to walk on the moon. I'm not even going to say his name. Neil Armstrong. But. Yeah. First man. Incredible. Ryan Gosling. Incredible. First man's my favorite movie of 2018. That about wraps up the year. Um, at some point I'll have my top 10. Least favorite, worst movies of 2018. But as far as this goes, these are my top 10 favorite movies of 2018. Like I said, 2018 wasn't a great year for film. But it, it wasn't too bad. There were some disappointments. There was just some eh movies. And then there was these movies I really enjoyed. Other than that, it's been Gaiden. Peace.